Hey what's up guys Aiden here, today we're having a look at Sergio Pettis, he is the younger brother of Anthony Pettis and currently he fights for Bellator, he used to fight in the UFC as well, now he's moved over to Bellator, he is in the flyweight and bantamweight divisions, so yeah let's jump into it, so for the general info, copy what you see on the screen to get the same results as mine, I've gone for posture Anthony Pettis, he's not quite the same as posture actually but because they're brothers I thought why not just give him Anthony Pettis but he actually has his hands more up so maybe, maybe um, one of the, maybe a Robbie Lawler or something like that from the pictures that I was looking at anyway in the videos I watched of him. So let's jump into his appearance. For his hair, I was going off the picture based off hair 35 and I've added a little bit of fades to the side. For the eyebrows, we've got brow 6 and then we've added our custom tattoos. Facial hair, facial hair 15. Uh, again, it's got custom tattoos and uh, body hair. I don't think he had any body hair, so I didn't give him any. For the hair colours, just everything is going to be black for the hair colors now let's jump into what did i do for the eyes eyes are dark brown body type i gave him a body seven obviously you guys can change up if you feel like it um i said body five could probably work quite well as well body six nah maybe body five but i think i like body seven for his skin tone i gave him tone five and then what i've done is i've layered him with a tattoo on top and um just to make him a bit darker because unfortunately tone six changes the face shadows too much so i stuck with tone five and worked from there so let's go to the head so we've got a head template number 36 as of ufc patch 4 and then just copy what you see on the screen get the same results as mine my r2 button is actually a bit broken so i've got another controller coming on the way i was playing ufc this is a new controller as well i've had it for about two months i was playing ufc online the other day and i think i must have just been hitting the block button too hard because it wasn't registering and then uh, yeah the button's gone out of out of sync but oh here's what it is so for um, the tattoos for Pettis, I have actually put downtown, but you could actually write his name. It's uh, Pettis. You can use the font. I'll show you how to do that. And then on the other side, we've got the lady and uh, some bits behind it. So let's jump into those now. So, okay, yeah, we've got some business to get through. So let's start with left leg, right? Because we start with the easy one. So you've got uh, Celtic Travel 5, and it's on the back of his left leg here. Okay, next up we have right arm. And uh, this is a skin tone one, shapes 19. Basically, I've just wrapped it around. So what you want to do, get get the shape, L1 and right stick, wrap it around, and then hold right uh, left on the D-pad till it fades in. Make sure it layers over perfectly, and just fade it all the way into the left, and then press like once or twice to the right so you get the right tone. Do the same on the other side for this arm. And um, for the body, you know what? I should have put this as a base layer. So let me just put this as a base layer. Yeah, for the body, you're going to do the same. So the first layer is shape 19. It's covered over his body. And then we've got Mythos font number 9 for the facial hair. And basically just go through and uh, fill in the facial hair, as you see, to give him that kind of chin strap. And uh, yeah, he's had a few different looks. So this is kind of a combination, I guess, because he I don't think he had this facial hair and this hairstyle, but he did have this facial hair and he has had this hairstyle before. So I just combined both because it kind of works. And he looks like one of the Pettis brothers now. So just, yeah, Mythos font number nine all over the chin area just to get that beard looking fresh, fresh, fresh trim and that. Okay, so that bit's done. So next up, shapes number nine, and that is going to go right around where his eyes are. You see it's like this. And then hold left on the D-pad and then just write it once or twice. Make a copy of that, put one over here on this side as well. It's going to give his eyes a little bit more shadow. Next up, we have the hair on the sides. You don't need to do this one, but if you want to, I use shapes 27, and I just gave his hair on the sides a little bit more um, fade to it, like this. Made a copy of that, put one back here, which goes across to there, and then one more copy just over here. So those are those ones. Next up we have is Mythos font number nine, and again, it's just gonna be to thicken up the eyebrows. I think I've got maybe three on each side yeah it's three on this side and on the other side we've got one yep another one here and another one here so they've just got three eyebrows on each side just to thicken them up and make them a bit longer next up we have the base tattoo of the chest so we've got irizumi number three which goes here and then we've got um portraits number five which is the lady sits on top of that and then over here i'll put downtown if you guys want to spell out his name, Pettis, um, I'd recommend using perhaps Lino font or 
there was one more before that actually. Where is that? Is it clever? Might have been clever. No, it's not clever. Maybe Duke, Duke the Berry. But it's a bit hard to read it, but maybe Duke the Berry and just make it smaller. Could just go across like this and just write out his name Pettis. Like so, and just keep keep doing all the letters and then just drag it up to where it says downtown, roughly around here. And yeah, that's a wrap for Anthony Pettis' little brother, Sergio Pettis. So if you guys enjoyed the content, hit the like button, keep the suggestions coming. Thanks for all the support, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm Aiden, and I'm out of here. Peace.